Hey guys, it's Drew again. I wanted to do a video response to Theo over at uh, Clemente Collector. Uh, I've just recently been turned on to his channel. I've kind of heard about him and stuff, but my personal life has been kind of crazy. Uh, just different things going on, but uh, so I haven't had a chance to really check him out, but I was talking to Jim over at Picker Jim S and he encouraged me, hey, you need to check him out. I think he's your kind of guy. So I was looking through his stuff. Love your videos, love your stuff, love your collection. I love your passion. I love how you're just kind of discovering vintage for the first time or at least falling in love with it over the last year or two. I love that story. So uh, anyway, what he wants us to do is he wants us to show a well-loved card. And, um, you know, if you guys have followed my channel or know anything about me, uh, my collection is just well-loved, if you want to put it that way. Uh, I don't collect graded cards. I don't collect high-end cards. I have um, a card or two that are still graded for certain reasons, and I have a card or two that are high-grade. Again, probably not because I purchased them, but because someone gave them to me. But for most part, my cards are what you would call low grade. Uh, and he wanted us to show a card or multiple cards that are well loved. And I was talking to Jim and he mentioned something uh, in his video response about the difference between being a well loved card and being a card that's just not taken care of and destroyed. And I think there's a, per uh, personally I think that's a, a distinction that's important. Uh, to me, well loved means a person, uh, a kid or an adult one, uh, they love it so much that they 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 cherish it, they look at it, or and, and it could be the way that they hold it, or, or where they display it, or how they do it. So I picked out four different cards that, to me, show that these cards were well loved because uh, of the condition, not because they were trashed, because they were not taken care of, but rather because they were, you know, just uh, cherished and looked at. So I want to give four distinctions of how I feel you can find out if your card was different between well loved or just trashed. And my first one, I've told the story before a long time ago, but my first one is a 1968 Mickey Mantle. And this Mickey Mantle, as you can see, and all these cards, all you graded guys are going to gasp. So look away if you don't want to do this, but I actually have them raw and unprotected to show this, so there's no clear. But the first thing on this mantle, you can see, is surface wear. And to me, surface wear, that tells me that someone was flipping through cards, that they kept them together, they kept them in a box or something. Another thing about this specific card is on the back. Uh, another cardinal sin is it's written on and you know it's got 536 written in red ink down below well as you guys know mickey Mantle, this is his last full season as a player and at the end of the season somebody thought enough to be like you know what this was his home run total for his career and to me this is a well-loved card the fact that uh how i got this card uh there was an older collector back when i was younger and and just always dreamed about getting cards or whatever but i was really into you know um the the modern stuff at that time this was like late 80s early 90s and uh and he said you know if you're going to be a card collector you need to have a mickey mantle and he took this out of his personal collection and he gave it to me and that always means a lot to me this was my first vintage card and the fact that um he gave it to me out of that and you can see that this card was definitely well loved so going back another way that you can tell i want to show off this card and this is a 1953 Tops Dick Brodowski. And I love this card for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, it's just a great picture of a guy who was not a superstar by any means. He didn't have a long career. But, you know, 53 Tops is a great set. There's some great, great um, things. This is not an expensive card by any means. But for any of you who know anything about some baseball history or card history, this is the first card that actually dis depicts a night game on a baseball card. And as you can see, Fenway Park behind it. And you can see the lights are on. And it's the reason I picked this card up. Now, how I can tell this is a well-loved card as opposed to just one that's not in great condition is the fact that at some point in time, this thing was glued into a book. And uh, you can't read the back. I mean, there's still paper on it. But the fact that somebody liked this card enough, this player, this set or whatever, and they glued it down to a page so they can look through it and see it, that to me says well-loved card. So 1953 Topps Dick Brodowski with some terrible, terrible back damage. Uh, love this card. And then going back one more year, uh, I have a 1952 uh, Bowman, Willie Mays. And to be honest with you, I am not a huge fan of Willie Mays cards. I don't think that they have as much eye appeal. Uh, for some reason, in my opinion, a lot of Willie Mays cards, while they have a tremendous value, he just looks like he's forcing a smile. Like when you tell a third grader, like smile and they go, eh, and they just give this sort of half hearted. That's what a lot of them remind me of. So I love the 52. This is by far my favorite 
Lily Mae's card that has ever been made. And it's because it's just a post shot, uh, a drawing of him, his intensity. I mean, amazing, incredible ball player, no doubt. But how I can tell this is well loved is first of all, it's got some staining on it, as you can try to see around his, uh, right in here. Um, something was spilled on it, which means it was out and about. So maybe you would say, hey, that card, that may have been trashed. It was a coaster, it's not a well loved. Well, here's how I can tell it's well loved is if you look very closely up at the top, there's a pinhole. And if there's a pinhole, which is like a cardinal sin, no doubt, but still, if there's a pinhole in it, that means somebody pinned this card up because they wanted to look at it. And to me, that's why cards were created. That's why people love cards is because they want to look and cherish them, not just the ownership of having or knowledge of knowing, but they want to actually see it. I'm all about display. Everything I have is displayed. And, uh, and you can tell this Willie Mays was definitely loved because of the pinhole up there. That's why I think this is one of my favorite cards that I own, and this is why it's well loved. And then finally, another telltale way, we talked about surface wear, we talked about back damage, and now we talked about a pinhole. But another way you can tell a card is well loved is because it's faded. And fading to me means it was out, it was ex displayed, it was shown somewhere on a desk, on a wall, in a shelf, who knows, but possibly sunlight hit it. Jim talked about it in his video. And, uh, and so this card has got some fading to it, but it's the only example, first of all, the reason it's, I have this one is because the only way I could afford this card. It's actually the only card in my entire collection from the 1952 top set. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the set overall, and the expense on it is just it is just insane to me. But not only is it from 1952 tops, it's actually a 1952 tops high numbers card, uh, and that is of one of my all time favorite players, Mr. Pee Wee Reese. And this card has got a lot of different wear. Um, the colors are a little faded. Uh, you can see there's a crease up in the top corner, um, but. This card to me says that someone loved this card enough to have it out. They wanted to look at it. Some kid in Brooklyn I'm picturing put this up on his bed stand or something next to a car and he just looked, sun hit it, and uh, it faded a little bit. So there's some, some examples in my collection of well-loved cards. Theo, I love your channel. I can't wait to get to know you better online here. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the journey looking at these great cards. And until next time, you guys be good.